Hello everybody and a good day to you all. Today I'm talking about um, Kirokaro, Bed and Breakfast for Spirits, the season number one, episode number five. I should not forget my promise to the Akashi. And this episode here, you have Oe, you have um, um, Susaran and, um, and Akashi, pretty much like um, reminiscing about Oe's grandfather. And you get a, a whole backstory about um, Cesare and Akashi on how they met Shiro, um, Oe's grandfather, how, how, how they became a family in their own right. Because he pretty much took them in when they, 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 they were kind of lost and stuff like that too. He fed them, he, he taught them things. They had to sign a contract to make them his slaves, which was kind of weird, but that was, that was kind of odd. But the whole, the whole slave thing kind of threw me off. But still, it, 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 it did like light, light, house, light housework around the house. He taught um, um, Akashi how to fight. And they had them sign, um, had them sign their names to some kind of contract. But Akashi was kind of hesitant about that a little uh, for a while until he started to, like fall in love with the old man. And in a way, they became a family because he loved them like 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 his like his, like his own grandchildren, and they, and they loved him like a grandfather. And so they pretty much lived together happily for a pretty long time until eventually the time came when they, they had to they had to um when they had to leave they had to leave and. And Akashi broke, broke, broke the contract and told him to, to go back to the to the um, Akashi world. And it, it, it was a little he hesitant at first, but they understood later on down the line because um, Owe was coming into the picture and she had to she had to stay with him. And because of this bond, because of their love for this one man, it kind of it kind of forced them to become a family. Because um, and Akashi was kind of hesitant to, to be um, to warm up to her because he was still kind of mad at her grandfather for leaving at the same time. And so, but she, but she managed to make it, have him come around by, by fixing him a food that her, that her that her grandfather fixed for them when, when they were staying with him that he that he loved. And because of that food and because of the, 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 the memory of the past and and their, and their love and the connection to this one person, it kind of brought them together closer as one, which was kind of nice. And at the same time, while they're coming together, they're also going apart because you have um, Cesare and Akashi, brother and sister, um, going their separate ways. Not because they hate each other, but because um, um, Cesare wants to find her, her, her way in the world, in the real world. With, with the humans and stuff like that. I, I, think, I think that's where they come from. And so she, she's going back there to find her place. And um, even though, like I said, even though they're brother and sister, doesn't mean they had to stay together. And because they, they're going separate ways, doesn't mean their love for each other um, stops. It, it, it still goes. It still goes go with them no matter wh where they are or how far away they are from each other. Because they can still see each other anytime they want to, and they still and they and they still and they left on um, good terms, which, which was a good thing. It was a nice, sweet episode. Not really, not not not. not, not, not it was no action, nothing like that. To no fighting, anything like that. But it's a sweet, a lovely episode. It's remembering the past, and, and and because of that, bring them together for the present and the future, which was nice. It was nice. It was nice. Yeah, yes, they had, they had a little bit of a hiccup here and there with um with um Tonosuke coming back to like the stalker chick, the stalker dude who pretty much trying to force his own to marry him. But other than that, okay. I mean, yeah, it's, it's slow. It's a slow pace. This is a slow pace moving episode. The story's still going on. I don't exactly know exactly where it's gonna go from here exactly yet. But it was it was fine. It was fine. It was it was a nice, cute little fun episode. That's pretty much it. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Yeah. So, leave your comments down below. Let me know what you thought of this episode of Kakario if you, if you are watching it. If you're not watching it, check it out for yourself. Hopefully you watch it, you will enjoy it, and have fun watching it too. So, give my channel a big like, hit the thumbs up, shaboop, and subscribe to my channel and share. I would appreciate it. Like I always say, in my dreams and life, I am the Ninja Rabbit. Uh, peace out, uh, people.